Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. I'm back here on the Hypermind Vanilla server. We're in downtown Hypertropolis, not too far from the Office High Rise project. And today we're going to be working on that, but I need some materials. And the only place I can get these materials is from the nether. Alright, so you may have noticed when we were doing the elevators that I was using a lot of quartz on the on the elevator core and down on the ground floor and uh, yeah we need some more so uh, this way there are some some uh, empty spots and so what we'll do is we'll just go out here and see what else we can get but uh, let me just show you what I got I've got an inner chest potions of fire resist into pearls cooked chicken I got a silk touch pick so I'm gonna be just doing some mining and um, when we come back I'll show you the haul that I end up with but, uh, but yeah wish me luck I'll see you in a little bit and we're back here in the overworld and let's take a look at the results are you ready yeah what do you think I think there should be enough nether quartz who knows we were getting kind of low now it's just off of that structure up there. But uh, yeah, I got some glowstone and some gas tears while I was at it. We picked up some soul sand. Because uh, you never know when you might need it. So let's go up here. Let's take a look around before we turn our attention to those materials. So we've got some spruce going right there. I need to break that down because uh, our floors up top are going to be spruce. You can see it right there. This is going to change right here from spruce to... Uh, another quartz actually so we need to bring it in line with this and kind of kind of make this design spread out over the whole ground floor but uh, let's take a look on the foundation you can see I have set up the overall outline and we're going to be working off of that but um, I still need to do a little bit of materials collection and I want you to tell me all of those nether quartz were do you like seeing those broken down? If so, let me know. Uh, but for this time, I'm going to be just breaking it down as I need it for uh, for the project up above. Um, we'll get the floors in, and then um, we'll, and then you just let me know in the future when I get that stuff. Should I break it down on camera or just take care of it off camera? You let me know. Uh, but this time I'm just going to take care of it off camera. I'm also going to get some more of the spruce out of these uh, these trees right here. And then I'm still collecting netherrack, oddly enough. Yes, I have drained the server of netherrack because we need a lot of nether brick. Even that outline's not quite correct. But uh, we're going to go through and, and take care of that. You can see that we've got some nether brick smelting up here. I just logged in, so this hasn't been going really for the most part. So we still got some stuff there. I need to go collect some nether rack. I need to break down some nether quartz. So let me take care of the materials collection. Then what we'll do is come back and get started on the office high rise. All right. I'll see you in just a little bit. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that I've gotten a little bit of work done here on the floor and the ceiling. So we filled out the floor with the nether quartz and I also found that I had not quite finished up on the uh, foundation here. There's a couple of details still to do. So we've got that fairly well done, hopefully. And you may note that I don't have quite the scalloped edge on the ceiling as I do here on the floor. And that is because uh, I really need the guidelines of the wall to be doing that. So uh, without further ado, let's get started on that. And let's just have a chat. Okay, so um, you can see the the materials choice that I have here. And that is nether brick. You might be wondering, why are you choosing nether brick? Well, um, this building is modeled after a building in Australia called the Manchester Unity Building. And if you note back to my my original theme for hypermine it's 
20th century, 21st century architecture, and that's really what uh, what I'm trying to go for. And the Manchester Unity Building sits at the uh, transition period between the Neo-Gothic of the late, what is it, uh, 19th century, and the um, Art Deco of the early 20th century. It's kind of a mix of both. And uh, if you if you would be so kind, go check out the link in the description box below to the uh, Wikipedia article for that building. And, and you can see some images that I'm working from for this. I'm not going to include the images directly here uh, for fear of, um, you know, some copyright strike issues that uh, YouTube seems to have from time to time. So um, what I'm doing right now is just um, we're, we're going to work through some of the design here. Got up there. Okay, I thought there was a zombie up there, but uh, that's not the case. And um, so if you go take a look at those those images, you will see kind of what I'm working working towards. And and in that building, you see a lot of minute detail. And, you know, the best way to get the minute detail in Minecraft is to have a block choice that includes stairs, slabs, and fences. Now, there's a few varieties of blocks that offer all of those. Uh, first is the stone. Of course, you've got the cobblestone fences that you can do. You can also do cobblestone slabs and stairs. Same with the stone brick slabs and stairs and the, um, the regular smooth stone slabs. The problem is that that color palette lends itself to medieval builds, not, uh, not necessarily um, a modern type feel. And, and so that's what we're trying to avoid here. Now, we've got a little bit of a, an issue right here. I wonder if I can get this just right. So I'm, I'm not doing the medieval building because, um, yeah, we've done that, okay? I did that on Adventure Time, and I did that a little bit, kind of a mishmash of, um, of styles on too crafty and so I really want to stick with what um, you know what my theme is for for hypermine and that's the modern so the stone textures are out we're not going to need stairs again for a little while so we'll put that away bring back the regular blocks okay so stone textures are out and then the other one is wood okay so um, you've got uh, all the different wood types and really, if you look at the color palette on the Met uh, Manchester Unity, I might have said Metro Unity. I don't know why I had it in my head like that, but uh, Manchester Unity building. Um, if you look at the coloration, you might think that Acacia would be a good fit for that. Also, Jungle might be a good fit. But um, the problem is on a multiplayer server, you get issues of thunderstorms and especially in an area that's high traffic and like the commercial district here and I don't want thunderstorms ruining my build um, on a multiplayer server you can have a lightning storm go through and completely decimate your build um, and uh, you know be none the wiser for it for a while so I really didn't want that to happen is why I don't tend to build with wood in high traffic areas on multiplayer servers. So the only other option, un unless Mojang decides to give us some stairs and slabs on other blocks, is to go with nether brick. So there is a stair, there is a slab, there is a fence. So that's the choice. Now the problem is that this is a rather dark block and that may be causing you to question my sanity a little bit, at least in terms of this choice here, but uh, that's why I'm bringing in the uh, the white stained glass to kind of offset some of the darkness of the nether brick. Okay, so so with that uh, that whole whole diatribe aside, it's not really a diatribe, but uh, that little talk. Um, 
you kind of understand my materials choice here and what we're doing right now is just getting a feel I'm not doing the whole thing on camera instead what I'm gonna do is this little snippet and then what we're gonna do is see about uh, we're just gonna take a step back and show the progress here hopefully I can get this did I get it good okay good 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 and we'll have a little bit more you know what I don't need that so we'll bring back the block that way we have all of what I need right here yeah so we're just gonna take a step back once this is complete and I'm I'm doing this uh, this kind of scooting along the edge here so I can get the stair placement just right all right so by this point in the build I have been I've been doing a lot of planning off camera and I've got a creative testing world for that and I've done a lot of materials collection I think we finally have enough nether brick to be able to handle this build it was something like four double chests of nether brick and a lot of that was nether rack that I smelted and uh, you, you know that's a lot of a lot of effort into this build and and it leads me to the conclusion that I'm probably not going to finish this whole thing in this episode. Okay, so you're going to have to wait until next episode to see the final, final piece. But um, that, that leads me to a question for you, and I would, I would really like your help on this. Okay, so um, how much of that prep work do you want to see? Is it... Uh, you, do you want to see the materials collection? Do you want to see parts of it? Maybe I do a little time-lapse type thing like I did for the house build. I would love to hear your thoughts on that and uh, and just get, get your opinion because, you know, you guys are the ones that are watching this. I want to make sure that what I am giving to you is of interest and... Uh, and that, you know, nether or the materials collection isn't necessarily the most interesting. So, so do let me know in the comments below, or uh, catch me on Twitter about that. But uh, what I'm going to do, we're almost done with this little section here. Hopefully, I got it just right. We're going to finish up. It's kind of hard switching between all these materials. So we're getting close. You can see I'm bringing in some sea lanterns. That was a bit problematic as well because um, right now we've only got the one guardian farm and it is a bit um, a bit scary to use because uh, I did force the server to restart uh, I didn't mean to it's just that's the way it went okay so we can do do that and then what we're gonna do is come in here like so and do that all right so what this is doing is hopefully breaking up the the hard edges of the nether brick because it is it is a very dark dark um, dark texture so it, you can kind of lose the the detail if you just stick with the options available there okay and we'll pop down you know what I think that's mm, Okay, yeah, so what we're going to do, just take a look here. It is nighttime. I'm going to have to go sleep soon because we're not all, all safe and secure around here. So this is what it's going to end up looking like, and that's going to go up for up until the just above the penthouse. There's a little different roof section, but I think we're going to get to that in the next episode. So you can kind of see the look coming together some. Hopefully I don't meet anybody... No, nothing out there. Okay, so there's a, a, you know, kind of a step back view, and that's with the the extra stained glass here on the front, and then you can kind of see this coming together, and here on the bottom floor, it's a little bit different. We've got those intervening sections right there of the stairs, just to break up the windows a little bit. We're not going to do that on this. Because, again, you should go look at those images, and, and you'll see what I'm working with. But, uh, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this whole section off all the way around, and then I'll bring you back. We can take a look at what this first floor is going to look like, or the ground floor is going to look like, and then, uh, then, then we'll go from there. All right? So 
Let me get to work on that, and I will see you in just a moment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and we're down here in the basement, and you can see there's a little bit of a difference here. The access point used to be, I think it's right there. We've moved it over here so that it fits squarely inside the building, so I don't have to keep going outside the building. It was getting rather annoying once I was putting all this together, but uh, to, to pop out through the window and then down, and anyway, so yeah, we've got access inside. I still don't have a design for how to get into the basement once this thing is done, but we'll we'll figure that out later. Uh, anyway, we've got this this wall design carried all the way around. You can see that, and the ceiling is complete. Well, at least for the time being, we might revisit this. We probably will revisit this when it comes time for interior decorating. But the main focus right now is the structure and the structure for the ground floor here. Again, we're going to be using the UK naming. So this floor is the ground floor and the floor above it is the first floor. So we're on the ground floor. That's going to be the lobby and it has a little bit different design but uh, kind of the same theme going all the way up. The lobby itself or the ground floor is 12, 10 or 12 blocks high and each of the office floors are six to eight blocks high. I think six blocks for the standard and then eight blocks with the interstitial spacing. But uh, yeah, we've got got that done, got the wall carried around. You can see some of the design there. And then let me show you something else I found while I was playing around with this. I put in that minecart right there so you could easily get out of this minecart because we were having trouble in the elevator episode. You remember that? It, it wasn't letting me out of this minecart. Well, for some reason, once I put that in, I can just get out. I don't get it. I, I don't understand minecarts, but we'll leave it like that for now. Anyway, this is the first floor, first office floor, and you can see, uh, hopefully, I think I've, I've gone around here a couple of times. I think I've gotten all the details done. I haven't missed anything. It's a little bit harder when you're not able to fly around like in creative, so um, I think I've gotten everything, but uh, let's just chuck an ender pearl down. And you can get a good look just to be sure. I just slept the night away, so there might be stuff around. I'm somewhat worried about that. We are well tired, but yeah, anyway. So this is the design. And again, based on the Manchester Unity building, feel free to take a look at those, those pictures down from the description box below. That's from One Wolf's mob spawner down there. Yeah, anyway, and we've carried around the design even to the back, and I've started putting in some of the landscaping, not much. We're going to come back to that later, but we got to get this building done. We're not going to get it done in this episode because it just has taken too much time to get the materials together. So uh, next time we're here at the office high rise, we will be getting the rest of the structure done. Got some fun stuff planned for the penthouse area. I'm, I'm really excited about that. So uh, yeah, we've got to get all of these walls done all the way up. And so we're going to do that next time we're here. Now next week, I'm not sure what it's going to be. It could be here or over at the Guardian Farm. And I still have some work to do at the house. So we'll see. It's, uh, just pay attention to the sub boxes and your email if you are subscribed. And uh, just see what happens there. But anyway... Hopefully you've enjoyed this installment of Family Friendly Gaming from Sofa Great. Again, if I'm not comfortable sharing it with my kids, I won't share it with you. But I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.